Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo. There's over there's John Lewandowski. Hey. Uh, our show is brought to you by London Flux at Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. While you're online, please check out our YouTube page uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville on YouTube. Please click that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notified every time we upload a video. If you have Facebook, go over there, give us a like and a follow from Milwaukee to Nashville or MKE number two, Nash. Um, you can also look us look me up personally on Twitter at um, um, uh, uh, AdsFanDan35 or 45, one of the two. I'm on both. All righty, so today the Nashville Predators um, took on the Tampa Bay Lightning, the defending Stanley Cup champions. Um, this game was not for the faint of heart. <laughs> no. Um, it definitely had my blood pressure up. Yeah. Uh, shots on goal with 36 for Nashville, four, 34 for the Lightning. Uh, face-offs were 53-47 for Nashville. Both teams were 0 for 3 on the power play. Nashville had 16 penalty minutes to the Lightning's 8. Um, hits were uh, 25 in Nashville, 12 for the Lightning. Uh, blocks were 9 to 7 for the Lightning, and giveaways were 7 to 11. Um, not in favor of Nashville. Um, Nashville gave up the puck 11 times. Um, there's a little something I want to get into before we talk about that. Uh, Ryan Ellis off of IR, um, and uh, uh, Matthew Olivier out for four to six weeks. Uh, that is a big loss from Nash for Nashville. Um, just based on what his game brings to the table for them. Uh, would have been we'll greatly used tonight, um, but we'll get back into that more. Uh, scoring in the first was Ross Collington, uh, his seventh with an assist by Yanni Gord and Miguel Sergachev, uh, Gord's 15th, Sergachev's 21st. Uh, then in the second period, Eric Cernak had his second with an assist from Andre Blot, his 23rd, and... Uh, Braden Point, his 18th, and then Yanni Gord scored an empty netter in the third. Um, you guys will hear a return of something in a second, but let me get into the goalies first. Uh, Andre Vasilevsky had a perfect night, stopped 36 of 36. He was on it tonight. I give him kudos. Yeah. That's the only yeah. thing I give this te that team. The rest, the two goals they scored in the first and the second were luck. Yeah. Pure luck. Um, not that I normally take those away, but it bounced off. Of, uh, the puck was bouncing around on those goals like a ping pong ball. Yes, it was. Um, in that, for the Nashville Predators tonight was Pecorino stopping 31 to 33 with a .939 save percent. Still a good night for Pekka, but the return of the crap list. Yay, something I wasn't looking forward to. All right. Crap mm -hmm. list tonight, Jeremy Davies, Mikel Granlin. Cal Krog, Luke Koonin. Um, Jan Krog was a minus two, Granlin minus two, Davies minus two, Koonin minus three. Um, your referees were um, uh, blind thing one and thing two. Um, yeah, let me not get into them tonight. Everything Nashville did wrong, they did wrong, and everything Tampa Bay did wrong, they did right. So, um, that's just saying it in that particular manner, so I don't get too you much yelled at. Um, the linesmen were Andrew Smith and Brian Pancic. Uh, head coach for Tampa Bay is John Cooper. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Scratches for Tampa Bay was David Savard, recently traded from the Columbus Blue Jackets to the Detroit Red Wings and from the Detroit Red Wings to the Tampa Bay Lightning. You got traded twice in one day, sir. Huh. Wow. Uh, other scratches, Steven Stamkos, he's day-to-day, -day, uh, most likely out for uh, the presumable week. Um, scratches for Nashville were Matthew Olivier. Um, he is out for four to six weeks, like I said earlier. Tolvanen's week to week. Dante Fabro is week to week. Um, your three stars of the game are uh, 
Uh, third star of the game was Pecorine. Second star of the game was Ross Collington. First star of the game, Andre Vasilevsky with a shutout. Um, we will be back tomorrow with the Florida Everblades. They dropped to the Jacksonville Iceman four to one tonight. Sorry, I was unable to watch. I was locked out of my Flow Hockey uh, account today uh, for password issues. Um, somebody tried to log into my account seven times today and got did not was not able to get in, so um, it locked up my account. So I had to re- I had to wait I have to wait 24 hours. Um, there is a small chance I may not even be able to cover tomorrow's game. I apologize to the Florida Everblades fans purely based on I had no control over this. So with that being said. I would like to wish our friend Robert Sharp, a uh, loyal follower, uh, best of luck on Monday. Uh, he is having shoulder surgery. I wish um, my friends, all all of our followers, the best of luck in all their health and stay stay. Yeah. Um, we will see you guys tomorrow. Like we said, 